The Tesla Model X has arrived in the UK. It's the American company's first SUV, but it's been receiving rave reviews. Based on the Model S saloon, it's got the same pure electric drivetrain and so the same mind-blowing speed and green credentials, but its party feature is the Falcon Wing doors and the proper seven seats for adults. So there are already plenty of reviews out there that will tell you how fast the Model X will go, it will beat other cars in drag races, it's fully electric, it will tell you how far it goes. I'll stick the um, stats up on the screen in a second. But more practically, an SUV is used by families, so how easy is it to get the kids in and out? Can you stick a child seat in? Can you stick more than one child seat in? That's what I want to find out. That's the thing that other people aren't talking about. Let's give it a go. What do you think of this car? I think it's great. Yeah? Wait till you see the doors. Wow. Wowee. Do you want to have a look inside? So it looks like the Model X is a hit with the kids. But then I needed to get the child seats in. The first thing I tried to do was to put my daughter's seat into the third row. Although I could fit it in, I couldn't locate the Isofix very easily. The padding was just too thick, which meant that I had to resort to putting her in the second row. It was much easier to get it in there. Right there. However, having got my daughter's seat in, I then tried to put the rear-facing infant seat in the other side of the car and then realised that wouldn't fit behind my driver's seat. So then I had to take my daughter's seat out again and fit it on the other side. I then went round the other side, tried to put the infant seat in the rear row and then realised it wouldn't fit because the middle seat is too far back. That meant I put both child seats in the second row. Okay, obviously once you've done it once, it's easy. Next was putting the buggies in. Now Teslas have no engine in the front of the car so there's a handy space called a frunk at the front of the car. The buggy wouldn't fit though. That meant I had to put it in the boot which was no problem because with no one in the rear row I was able to fold the seats down and the boot is actually quite spacious. Have you got lots of room there? Yeah. Yeah, you comfortable? Yeah. Good. Right, we're ready to go, finally. Um, now, shutting the doors. There's obviously buttons on the doors, these orange ones on the Falcon wings. Um, but something even cooler. Yeah. So you come in here and go into the menu, controls. There's a doors button and you can close all. which is quite a handy feature. Finally we set off and we met up with my mum and then proceeded to film her trying to climb across into the central seat. She was very happy to do it, but it was a bit of a struggle and we had to take the child seat out. Finally though, we were ready. We made it out on our excursion and stopped for lunch. On the way home though, we decided to put Gran in the third row, which meant that we put one seat down and had one seat up for her to sit in. I'm going to take the car Mike Is that all right? Yep. One thing Gran found a bit of a struggle with uh, one seat down in the third row, locating the seat buckle. We managed it eventually. And then it was a case of getting the kids in again. Now I'd thought of the Falcon Wing doors as a bit of a gimmick until today. Why not use just a sliding panel door? But being six foot five, I really appreciated not having a section of roof where my head is. I didn't have to bend over or arch my back so badly. I love the fact that I'm not crouching. It's really good. <laughs> so I've just spent the day with the Tesla Model X, one of the first right-hand drive models built specifically for the UK. Um, and I wasn't going to talk about the ride very much, but let's, let's have a quick chat because, yes, it's rapid. Uh, the ride is a bit, a bit harsh, but it's pretty remarkable. It's a, it's a heavy beast, but it doesn't feel like it. It feels agile. Really enjoyed the ride, but let's talk about the kids. So getting the kids in the third row, pretty difficult. 
but uh, no problem getting them in the second in the second row and actually that's where you want the child seats because when the falcon wing doors open you've got a nice aperture at the top i can stand up straight strap my kids in that is ace well done tesla on that front buggies you struggle to get them in the front trunk as the or the front as they call it um, you can get them in the back fold the uh, third row down loads of space so you know all round pretty good tesla and they've just thought of some really remarkable things the ability to close all the doors at the touch of a button once you get back in the car just magic